in our last two examples, what we want to do is first, correct that one, that one should be example nine. Um, we want to go ahead and solve the given equation. So first we have two equals three to the negative, negative x power. In Wolfram Alpha, we'll just ask it to solve this expression. We could include those parentheses around the three, but they're not really important here since there's no negative sign. Um, we can go ahead and evaluate this to solve this expression. Our initial answer that we're given or really the two solutions that we're given here first. Uh, we only want to consider one of these. The first result, if you look in there, has a term that says plus two i pi times n. Any results that deal with i, which is the imaginary number, gets us into complex numbers. If you've seen that before, we're not worried about that. So we're just gonna look for the real solution, which in this case is negative log two over log three. If you've seen logs before, great. We're gonna introduce them shortly, so don't worry about it. We're just gonna click on approximate form and get that as a decimal, which is negative 0 0.63093, approximately. Negative 0 0.63093. Then in example nine, we want to do the same thing. We just have a more complicated expression. We still want to solve, but in this case, negative one is equal to negative three e to the x plus three. That exponent contained in a set of parentheses to make sure Wolfram Alpha sees that entire expression as part of the exponent, which we can check in that input interpretation row. We'll skip that initial result, again, that has an i in it, and just look for the real solution, which is, uh, again, is given to us initially in terms of a logarithm. We don't need to worry about that right now. We just want the approximate form, which is negative 4.09861. So in both of these cases, we only want the real solutions. Which means we can ignore i or any imaginary or complex numbers. And don't worry about the log expressions. We'll get to that shortly. We're just looking for those approximate decimal answers.